You're watching Channel 63, WNBC-TV, Newton, New Jersey. Good evening, I'm Nicole Greco. Thanks for joining us tonight. About a third of New Jersey's residents are black, Hispanic, Asian, or another minority. And like minorities across the country, those groups are disproportionately impacted by some of the nation's biggest killers, like heart disease, obesity, diabetes, certain cancers, and infant mortality. Today in New Jersey, reducing those disparities is now a top priority. Matt Fitzpatrick has more on how a new detailed strategy by the State Department of Health and Senior Services is going to help health care providers in their effort to bring health care to the state underserved. It seeks to cut early death rates and health problems ranging from asthma to AIDS. And today, news of the state's first comprehensive plan to eliminate long-standing health disparities between whites, minorities, and New Jersey's working poor has many health care physicians very excited. We're seeing a large disparity. We're seeing a disparity amongst the minorities for, you know, higher incidence of diabetes, high blood pressure, um, morbid obesity. You know, we see our kids, you know, with morbid obesity, and I think it's a lack of education. The plan announced yesterday will build on existing programs, add new ones, seek outside funding, and set up community partnerships to better tackle minority health issues. Linda Mazzella is the Community Outreach Coordinator at Raritan Bay Medical Center. Well, I'm the link with the professional and clinical staff, and so I try to look at avenues where people are usually shopping, um, going to the bookstore at Babies R Us or in the mall, and because people are busy today. It's not like uh, everybody wakes up, let's see, what am I going to do today? Oh, let me take my blood pressure. So we try to bring events where there is the community, like piggyback them on top of things. So we'll go out and actually be taking blood pressures, and if we see elevations, we'll offer education to them. We offer, I'll offer pamphlets in both English and Spanish. Now among the things that could come about from this is a partnership with the New Jersey Hospital Association that would help the near 900,000 Garden State residents who speak little or no English by training bilingual hospital staff to serve as interpreters. By doing so would help better ensure discharged patients understand their diagnosis, medication doses, and any needed follow-up care. I speak Spanish, therefore I'm able to communicate with my patients and educate them and properly give them guidance as far as you know, telling them that your community has a higher incidence of this. Among the dozen or so strategies outlined by the State Department of Health and Senior Services to help eliminate these disparities include expanding capacity for cervical and prostate cancer screenings, identifying and removing barriers to screening and follow-up care, reducing deaths from heart disease through increased education and outreach, creating a state office of obesity prevention and securing outside funding for preventative programs, especially among children, and increasing the number of people tested for HIV and encouraging safe sex practices. Reporting from Old Bridge, I'm Matt Fitzpatrick, WNBC News.